Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to take these chicken tenderloins and marinate them in this Lowry's Teriyaki with Pineapple Juice 30 minute marinade. And I'm going to throw these on the grill. I'm actually marinating them for a couple of hours, but this is a 30 minute marinade, so if you don't have that long, then that's fine. To go with our chicken, I'm going to make this broccoli cheddar and rice bake and I'm just using some minute rice and I used three cups of rice so I just cooked it according to the directions on the box. I'm also going to throw a bag of this steam fresh broccoli into the microwave and cook that as well. I actually got this recipe from Kristen Stepp. She is like the queen of what's for dinner so I'm going to leave her channel below because she posts what's her dinners every week and she always has these really good new recipes to try um, and I just love her channel and I know you will too. Now I'm going to take this great value version of Velveeta cheese and I'm just going to cut that up and I'm going to place it on top of the broccoli just so it can start melting. I'm going to place everything in a bowl. I'm going to take a can of cream of chicken along with a splash of milk and seasonings. I just used salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder, but you can use anything that you would like. And then I'm just going to mix everything together. I found this really cute baking dish at Walmart. It was only $10 and the quality of this dish, like it is a really heavy dish and I thought it was perfect for fall so I went ahead and picked it up. I'm just gonna spray that with some cooking spray and then pour my mixture into the dish and then just evenly spread it out. And I'm just going to layer the top with shredded cheese. You're going to want to cover that with aluminum foil and cook it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes. This dinner was delicious. My whole family loved it and that is saying a lot because I have a picky eater. We will definitely be cooking this again. For the next dinner, we did cheeseburger quesadillas and I started off with a pound of ground beef. I seasoned that with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and a lot of Lowry's seasoned salt.
Now I'm just going to drain my meat and place that in a bowl. I'm going to return my pan to the stove and spray that with some cooking spray. I'm going to use these extreme wellness wraps because that's what I had on hand, but feel free to use whatever you like. I didn't have any shredded cheese either, so I'm improvising and using the Colby Jack slices that I had in my fridge and I'm just tearing those in half. I'm going to wait a minute and then I'm going to place my meat on top of the cheese and then I'm going to place pickles on top of the meat. And you can use whatever you like. If you don't like pickles, you don't have to use the pickles. I just think that it tastes really good with the pickles. And then instead of doing a tortilla on top of that, I'm just going to fold it over. And I just paired that with some seasoned fries and a lot of ketchup. You guys, this was so good. If you try anything out of this video, this needs to be it. This was delicious. For the next dinner, we're going to do a Doritos taco bake, and I'm just preparing two pounds of taco meat how I normally would, and then I would normally add a whole jar of this salsa, but I only had half a jar and it turned out okay, but I would prefer to use the whole jar. So I'm just going to add that in there, stir it around, and cook that for about five minutes and let it just kind of marinate in itself. And then I'm going to add in some strained corn and pinto beans and I'm going to mix that all together and just let it cook while I'm getting the rest of the dish prepared. Next, I'm going to go ahead and spray down my baking dish, and I'm going to take these Doritos. You can use your favorite Doritos, but I just really like these Cool Ranch ones. I'm sure it would be good with the nacho cheese too, but I'm just going to crush these up, and I'm going to place a layer in the bottom of the dish, and then I'm going to layer that meat mixture in the middle, and then another layer of Doritos on top. If I had shredded cheese, which I didn't, unfortunately, I would have layered the shredded cheese in between the meat mixture and the top layer of Doritos, and that would have been so good, but I didn't have any shredded cheese, and the dish still turned out really good. just covered that with aluminum foil and placed it in the oven on 350 for about 15 minutes and it was so yummy this was delicious 
I've made this a couple of times. Usually I have the cheese which makes it better, but this time it was still really good. I hope this video gave you so much inspiration for dinners to cook for your family. If you try any of these, please let me know. I would love to know how you liked them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.